we sort of like that, don't we? Because, you know, that's the kind of people we are. <laughs> well, here's a story that comes from Russia, but not as dark as the stories David tells. Whoa. This is a story about 12 brothers. They thought they were so smart. They thought they were extremely clever. And in fact, when they referred to themselves as a group, they called themselves the 12 Clever Brothers. <laughs> well, it just so happened that uh, one day, they were going to take a trip to town. Now here's, they, they didn't live in, in a very big town. They just lived in a small village, really just the 12 houses, one main street, six houses on one side of the street, six houses on the other side of the street, almost identical. But one morning, the wife of brother number one, she said that she needed a sack of flour from town. And the wife of brother number two said that she needed a package of pins from town. And the wife of brother number three said that she needed a bolt of lace from town. And, and pretty soon all the other wives of all the other clever brothers were joining in. And well, they all needed something from town. So the brothers got together and they made a decision. They decided to go to town. Yeah. Now, these days, we would encourage them to do a little carpooling or cartpooling, I guess, but they didn't believe in that. So each of the brothers hitched his horse to his wagon and they all took off in the direction of town. And they traveled along and traveled along, but when it got late in the afternoon, they could see that they weren't gonna get to town that night, so they decided to stop at a nearby inn. Well, they were settling their, their carts and their horses, and uh, one of the brothers said, hey brothers, I have a really clever idea. And they all said, what is it? All of them secretly wishing that they'd had the clever idea. But they said, what's your clever idea? He said, I know how we can save so much time in the morning. We'll just put our wagons and our horses pointing this way, the direction of town, and that way when we get up in the morning, we won't have to look at a map, we won't have to ask directions, we'll just take off in the direction of town. They said, such a clever idea. So they all put their wagons and their horses pointing in the direction of town, and they, they went in to dinner. But what they didn't know was that the innkeeper had overheard their plans. And uh, he was a sort of a mischievous fellow. He said to himself, ah, those 12 clever brothers, let's just see how clever they really are. So while they were at dinner, he turned all their horses and all their wagons around. So they were going exactly the opposite direction, the direction they'd come from. And sure enough, the next morning, after a hearty breakfast, all the brothers, they went out to the stables, they hitched the horses to the wagons, and they took off in exactly the wrong direction. <laughs> and as they were traveling along and traveling along, one of the brothers, I think it was brother number five, said, hey, brothers, look at, look at that big rock over there and that, that beech tree. Didn't we, didn't we pass that yesterday? But brother number six said, oh, well, it looks like the rock of the tree that we passed yesterday but you know there are a lot of big rocks around here and most of the trees are beech trees so of course it's not the same I said oh yeah of course it's not the same so they traveled along and traveled along and then I think brother number seven said hey, hey brothers didn't we pass that barn yesterday <laughs> the brother number eight said well of course it looks a lot like the barn that we passed yesterday but it's not the same one, because if you, if you remember, yesterday when we passed the barn, it was on the right side of the road, but this barn is on the left side of the road, so clearly it's not the same. And, oh, yeah, okay. So they traveled along and traveled along, and they came up over a rise, and they looked down, tiny little village, just one main street, six houses on one side of the street, six houses on the other side of the street, almost exactly alike, and... And I think brother number nine said, hey, brothers, does that look like our town? I said, well, yeah, but of course it's not our town because our town is two days' journey behind us. Mm -hmm. But as he was speaking, a little yellow dog bounded out of one of the houses and ran up to brother number 10 and began to lick him on his hand. And he said, well, I don't know about whether that's our town or not, but one thing I'm pretty sure of is that's my dog. <laughs> and then uh, 11 other dogs bounded out of the 11 other houses and began to lick the 11 other brothers on their hands. And, and then they looked down and they saw in the doorways of the houses, there were women standing there smiling and waving who looked a lot like their wives. <laughs> and so those 12 clever brothers, they walked back down to their little village, scratching their heads, trying to figure out how is it possible that they had traveled for two entire days and ended up exactly where they began. Well, the next morning, 
Those 12 clever brothers, they got together and talked about what had happened and plans for the future. They made a decision, a pretty clever decision. They decided that the next time one of their wives needed something from town, they'd send their wives to get it. <laughs> and that turned out to be a very clever idea indeed. <laughs> <laughs>